Shout out to all the round eight artists, but major shout out to Boo Hefner, cause she just took a grade A sheet on all you rappers. Regardless, I'll stand through any situation. Constipation, I'm the shit. I guess it's time to piss the nation off. If I have to describe round eight in one word, I'll say round eight was Brown okay? I'll say round eight was significant. A lot of significant things happened this round. We had the first female standard ever. Boo Hefner, you just made history in round eight. Before you, there were no female standards. We had a few female artists compete, but they just couldn't get that top spot. When we look back at the history of the standard, you're gonna be the artist that we look back and say, Hey, she put on for the females. She was the first one to really take the title. So you should feel real good about that, because you brought a really, really solid submission and you made history. Something else significant that happened, we had the first money pot to actually go through. We had three people pay in. Worm C wound up winning the money. It was a five dollar pot. So it was fifteen bucks in the pot. Winner gets ten dollars and fifty cents. Chad came up about five bucks. That's how the pots work. The more money is in the pot, the more money you can make back if you win, if you beat your competitors. It was good to see that we can actually get a pot going and it actually works and I can pay the person who wins. I know a lot of y'all make stupid financial decisions. So I don't think anything that you spend in the standard is stupid because this has to do with y'all careers and y'all music. This is a music community. We're all helping each other. Your investment is going to stay in the group. Whoever wins, they're going to get the money. And these are people that you're working with and networking with anyway. We all win. So if you have the money to put up, put your money up, man. I'm not asking for much right now. We're just doing $5 pots. In the future, I'm going to want to do $20 pots, $30 pots, $50 pots. Hundred dollar pops, so we can really start paying some people off. Shout out to King Mike for the beat. I know a lot of y'all wasn't feeling the beat, but that's every round. We always have artists who complain about the beat. That's expected. I'm not expecting every artist to love the beat, but what I do expect is every artist to be hungry to win. This is a competition. This is a competition of talent. This is a stage, this is a platform, and all you gotta do is record a song. If you're not feeling the beat, I respect that. But we've been talking about it on the page, and I really don't think it's a good excuse to not bring something quality, because just because you're not feeling the beat doesn't mean your competitive spirit should go away. I think these chickens had enough of the beat. That spirit of competition should stay in you, and you should know if you post something legit, you have the opportunity to really go in and gain respect from your from your fellow artists and from the people who are looking at the competition. Sweet 16. One of the artists, Ty Too Real, shout out to Ty. He went as far as to make his song about why he didn't like the beat. Like he expressed it explicitly on his track he wasn't feeling the beat that's what he honestly felt that was the emotion that he wanted to express and it came off real it didn't get him good scores but to me he was honest with the way he felt and it made for an entertaining track that's probably the only track that really got a real reaction out of me and that's really the only track that got a reaction out of anybody really it ruffled feathers ruffle game it was mixed reaction because I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the honesty of it. And then you had some people who were looking at him like, Man, how you gonna make a track about quitting? It ruffled feathers. She said, Neptune flow, I'm so for real. Meaning for real, but played on his name, which is for real wordplay every round we have stuff to talk about people's people's feathers are getting ruffled i like when people's feathers get ruffled shout out to ruffle gang ruffling feathers since 2014 shout out to jay we need more people like jay people who just come on the page interactive they get what's going on they love music and they want to be a part of that we in these internet streets no feather is safe you can get your feathers ruffled
That's what we do. We tell the truth. We ruffle feathers. We're not a-holes. We just tell you what you need to hear. We tell you what the rest of them people ain't trying to tell you. But we do that because we about that life. Every day I'm ruffling. That's all I do is ruffle. Ruffle feathers. If your feathers getting ruffled, you hearing something that you need to hear. So you should be thankful. Ruffle gang. Shout out to Reese. Shout out to John. Shout out to everybody who's out here telling the truth. Oh baby, I'm the shit like a pimper after dinner. All my drinks be on the house just like Santa in December. Round eight. I'ma make sure this round eight. Round cake. Shout out to Miss Danger. Another female artist that submitted in round eight. Shout out to Instant Q. Shout out to Rails. Shout out to Ace McFly. And shout out to Aunt Boogie. <laughs> Only nine artists submitted. I mean, I guess it's not too much worse than what we've been doing. These are growing pains. They say whenever you start up anything as an entrepreneur, whether it be an idea, a business, an organization, you're going to go through the growing pains. And the standard is going through the growing pains. We're figuring out where we're going. I'm figuring out what the artists like, what they don't like, how we can get the most of the competition, how we can benefit producers, how we can benefit the artists, how we can how we can make it entertaining for the audience. It's still a learning process right now. We're going through the growing pains. Information for vital. You might want to keep a recital. That's word on the Bible. I'm holding the title. Mulan's an American idol. I spit them in orderly fashion. You might want to order the casket. I'm killing the game for Ness. Yeah, I'm a mess. Nigga, no napkins. Round eight. I'm going to make sure this round eight pound cake. Yeah. We got people leaving the group. I see the numbers. And I see them go down. I'm sure some artists get get mad at the standings and leave some of the audience members leave the page because they're not intrigued by what's going on and this is all stuff that's going to get better as time goes on when we get more more people who understand what the standard is about and are intrigued by what's going on so i think round eight was a good indicator of where we're going we've been reminded how the artists feel when they don't get a beat that they like and i, I like when people complain because that's how we're going to make this better because I'm not going to stop managing this competition. I don't care if we get three artists to submit in a round. I'm going to keep signing people up. I'm going to just keep reaching out to more people. Until we get a, a good core group of passionate people who get what's going on. And we can really build off that. So that's why I say round eight was a significant round. A lot of historic stuff happened. A lot of things were talked about that opened my eyes. I definitely I want to start helping the producers more. Because I think the producers don't feel like they're getting a lot out of the competition. After talking to some of the producers on the page, we're cooking up some good ideas to where I can help producers sell beats to the artists involved in the, in the standard. And then we can split that money between the standard and the producer. Like the producer gets 60% of the profit from selling the beats to the artists in the competition. The other 40% can be used to to pay the artists for doing well in the competition and it's gonna generate more interest for what we're building here so i take this very serious man shout out to the uh to the audience members who are actually active i'm still working on bringing in more people who just want to be involved in this and want to interact because yes it's a competition it's about the artists it's about seeing who's going to win but it is also about creating a fun interactive environment because that's what's going to keep things intriguing and keep things entertaining my name is genius i am a genius round eight good job i'll see y'all in round nine the standard we ain't going nowhere join the group on facebook you don't do anything else on facebook anyway you just be on your news feed doing random stuff come on man join this real stuff round eight you contributed to the history of this competition and you should feel really good about yourself and to the people who didn't submit Round eight. I'm going to make sure this is round eight. Pound cake. Pound cake? I like pound cake. It's good. Put it all out there for ya. Bear it out just to show you how I feel. Keep it all the way real for ya. And I'll be ready when you tell me how you feel.